hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope that this video finds you doing amazing and i hope each and every one of you are doing very well how are you doing you guys today i am going to be sharing with you three beautiful well no actually four beautiful um modern high-end decor diys and i really really love how all of these turned out you guys they are so beautiful and some of them are recycled and so i'm super excited for that so it's sort of like a trash to trash to treasure and we are all done with valentine's day if you missed my last valentine's day video i will link it down below in the description box so you can check it out but yeah we are all done with valentine's day and i hope that is good with you guys i am going to be sharing with you know regular home decor diys for you and i hope that you like them so without any further ado let's jump into the video so starting off here you guys i have two of these little bins or dispensers that you would have your disinfectant wipes in and the wrapper comes off really easy just take off the lid and then make a little slit inside of the wrapper of the label and then it just easily peels off and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give them both a coat of some black paint and i am going to give it multiple coats because this is plastic so it does tend to see through so do give it about three to four coats even and let it dry in between each coat so i'm just going to speed some of this up here because you guys don't want to see me painting for 20 minutes and so once you are done painting your containers then i do want to um and i did paint the bottom as well just so you guys know to also don't forget the bottom and here is what they look like after they are painted and now I just want to cover up where the lid would go. So I'm going to take some faux leather ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to simply hot glue it around the top so that way we can cover that up. You guys, if you have social media, I would love for you to come check me out on Instagram. I'm going to pop up my handle right here on the screen so you can come over and check me out. I would love to see you over there. I do post behind the scenes and, you know, stuff of my family and even DIYs that I don't post here on YouTube. So I hope that you would check me out. And so now these are what the containers look like with the ribbon at the top. And I think that looks way better. So now I'm going to take these little gems that I got from a pack of some Dollar Tree. Um, they come with Valentine ones as well, but I'm just going to use the diamonds I'm going to hot glue down four of them to each side going around and then four of the smaller ones in between of the bigger ones and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about but I this is um the last step for this I thought that it would make it look really nice and high end and really cute and so I do that and that finishes off this lovely and beautiful DIY. I really really do love how these turned out you guys and it is so cool that I got to you know reuse something and recycle something and I did put a strip of that faux leather ribbon going just down one of them because I thought that that looks really nice all I did was hot glue it down and I really love them you guys let me know what you guys think and you can place anything down in here I just placed some of this florals that I got from one of my local thrift stores but you can place anything that you want I really love them let me know what you think Okay, you guys, for the next DIY, I have here some stir sticks, and I have nine in total. Then I'm just going to make sure they're aligned really good. And then I also have two other sticks that I am going to use to glue them together. So I'm going to glue them to the back of the stir sticks, and the back is where the measurements are. Make sure that they are all facing the back because we're going to be using the other side. 
So I'm just going to cut down the other sticks down to size so I am able to put this piece all together and I'm going to do that with some wood glue and hot glue. So I am going to be using two sticks to glue onto the back and that holds it pretty well so all you need is two. And once you are done placing those now we can flip it over and as you can see here I have two um, two chunky wood slats that you can get from Dollar Tree and I am going to place this in the center, well not the center, the bottom half of the whole entire piece where the handles are of the stir sticks and I am going to just cover that up by gluing them there because this is going to be almost like a little shelf so I am going to glue one of them down using um, hot glue and wood glue again and then I'm going to glue the second one right on top of that one so we can have a, sh a little shelf that it has you know a little bit of length and we can put whatever we would like and here is what our piece looks like and do keep in mind friends that I did let this dry for a couple of hours you just want to let that wood glue dry so that way it doesn't come apart on you whenever you are trying to keep working on it so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the entire thing a coat of this stainer and then I'm going to wipe off the excess and I'm going to let that dry for a couple hours as well. And friends, you don't have to stain this. You can paint this piece if you preferred and I think that would look really gorgeous as well. Um, choose whatever color paint you would like for it. And so once I let this dry for a couple of hours, here is what it looks like. And then I have a bottle here, friends. It's like a uh, can bottle. And I recycled this. It was, it has soap in it, hand soap. And all I did was give it a coat of some terracotta spray paint. And I let that dry really well. I gave it two coats. And I am going to link the spray paint down below in the description box. So that way, if you want to pick this exact color up, you can do that. I really love this color. And it does feel like a terracotta finish. So what I want to do with this is I want to hot glue it down to the frame and onto the shelf. So I am going to take hot glue and I'm going to place it on the back of the bottle and onto the bottom of the bottle and place it right in the center. And once we have that on there, I am going to cover up the top of the bottle and I'm just using some ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to put a little dot of hot glue put it on the back of the bottle and then just wrap it around so that way it can have a nice clean finish and this DIY is just about done you guys now all you have to do is place whatever you would like on inside the bottle and I decided to put this beautiful floral stem from Dollar Tree and I just love this DIY you guys it is so beautiful and really stunning and I just love it let me know what you guys think of this DIY and let me know if you would try it. I would love to hear what you guys think. Alright friends, for this next DIY, I have here this Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral. And then I also have these little drawer inserts that I got from Dollar Tree. And then I have some of the foam brushes, um, little handles. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to tape off these boxes about a quarter of the way up from the box. So I'm going to go all the way around. Once I do that, I am going to paint that bottom section with the gray color and then I'm also going to paint the handles of the foam brushes and those are going to become legs for this DIY. Mm -hmm. 
So if you wanted, you guys, you could have painted this two colors or you could have stained it halfway or whatever else you wanted to do or you preferred. I just decided to leave half of it with the natural wood color because I really love how the two colors look together and I think it looks really good. So I am going to paint both of the boxes the same way and then I'm also going to paint the little wooden dowels. And once everything is nicely painted and dried, I am going to remove that painter's tape. And then once I remove that, I do want to make this one piece. So I'm going to take both boxes and I am going to glue them together using some wood glue and hot glue. And then I'm going to press them tightly together. I'm also going to take a little clip and I'm going to place it there so that way it can keep them nice and tight together as I am putting on the legs. And it's a good thing to put the clip on it so that way there's not really a gap in between each box as it would be if you don't put a clip because it holds it really nicely together. So now I am going to take the legs and I am going to glue them down just as you see me have them here on a slight angle. And I am just going to use hot glue for that. You don't need wood glue. I think hot glue would do just fine. And then I am going to do that to both sides and hold it in place until that glue is dry. And there you have it, a nice little standing piece. So you can organize whatever you want in here. And that is it, nice and simple for this DIY. If you wanted, you could decorate it up a little bit more, but I like how it looks as it is. The only thing I decided to do extra was take that same gray paint and go really carefully over the edges of the top of each little box that way I can give that nice little outline a little pop and make it stand out more and that is if that is the final step for this DIY and I really love how this little simple DIY turned out and you can put anything that you want in here use it really for anything for any room in your home I really love how it turned out and I just placed in some little pens and markers in the other one and that looks super cute like on your desk or something let me know what you guys think of this DIY Alright friends, for the last DIY for today, I have four of these galvanized little signs. They came in a frame that you can find at Dollar Tree. And I am going to be gluing down all three of them together because I end up using three, not four. So you can use four, but I just decided to use three. And I am going to use E6000 and some hot glue to hot glue them together on the edge. So I am going to just do that and then I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes. And the thing I like about these signs is that it already has the little clips. So you can decide whether or not whatever you want to hang on them. I am going to make mine into like a little photo gallery. So you can hang three pictures, one picture or two pictures and hang something else on the other clips. But I am going to decorate it up just a little bit. I'm going to take some ribbon and I am going to hot glue it down to each um, two edges of this little sign or wall hanger decor. And I am just going to hot glue that down and that will be my decoration for this piece. And I am going to hang one picture for now because I don't have pictures that fit this exact size. I did end up finding one so I put that one but... I am going to need two more because I do want three pictures on this but for now I just end up placing down some greenery on the other two clips and that is another option and it is very beautiful but for mine though I am going to have to trim the greenery just a little bit because they are a bit too long so I'm just going to simply take my scissors and cut them down to size and I am going to place two pieces of greenery on each side and I'm just going to show you here how else you can decorate it. I'm going to take some of the flowers and I'm going to place it in the center. And I think that looks really adorable and cute. 
but I do want, as I said, I do want to make this a little photo gallery. Um, but until I get those photo sizes, I would have, I will have it like this. And I think it's super cute like this as well. And I think this is super cute for like an office space or your workspace, whatever. And just to look at your family photos. And I am going to create a little hanger in the back so you are able to hang this. I'm just going to use some jute string and I am going to hot glue it down to the back of this sign. that is it for today's video my friends i hope that you like them and if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up down below because that does help out my channel and to reach other people so i would really appreciate it if you would give it a big thumbs up and if you are not subscribed already what are you waiting for because i know that you want to and i will be giving you guys new videos every week so you don't miss out i am posting tuesdays and fridays so every tuesday and friday that's twice a week i will be having a new video on my channel and it's that that way you won't miss out on any of my videos and with that being said i will see you all on the next one bye